Hello scrapbooking friends and thank you for joining me for another video. So we're back in the house of scrap, we're doing our scrapbooking housekeeping and some fixing file. So we're on album 8 which is the fourth album of 2017 and it's this one red and white spotty. I think in my last video I said I'd shown it to you but I hadn't. The previous, the previous ones were the red vinyl ones. I'm now onto the red with the spots. Um, and this four, oh, I'm not sure how many there are of those. Is it four? I'm not sure. I think it's four for 2017. It, there may be more for other years or later on. Um, and there's 20 layouts here. So there's 20 layouts from that um, album. So we'll have a look at those and see what we need to do with them. This is the first one. So this is a, a layout of my husband, myself and Elvis. On Elvis's birthday we went to the beach to celebrate and I remember I really wanted to get a nice photo I was desperate to get a nice photo because it was Elvis's birthday but um yeah the, the photos are not very good and I, I, I must admit I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this layout I did a little bit of stamping there look, on the glitter cardstock not sure how I managed that it must have been one that stays on um this is that doodle bug again so it's definitely pre-glittered i haven't sort of sprayed it with a glitter spray or anything it's obviously it is a glittered cardstock so four by six photo two three by fours layered using these seaside themed pattern papers this little wave piece here like a border strip and um, this chipboard alpha punching again with stars and hearts a little bit of outline in there those pearl gems use my tag punch again here eyelet and some uh, baker's twine and that one not sure if i'm going to keep so this one is uh, my nephew came to visit so this is uh, texture codec again gray and a light green color two four by six photos of me with my nephew and my husband with my nephew and we were actually at a beach party so this is that chipboard title again alphas I've created some banners and have used my punch again, my tuck punch. Layered, hit some layering here. <clears throat> and stamping and journaling. Baker's twine with eyelets set into the tags. This one is a rock and roll one. So this is that pattern paper I mentioned before, came in a, a set. And I've got this, this is vellum actually, vellum. Did I check that that one was okay? I think I did. Mm -hmm. I don't think I did, but it is. <laughs> um, guitar pattern paper here, camera pattern paper. I had a paper pad that was kind of music themed, so these these pieces came from that, I'm sure. Um, and then just this design here with this um, eight by eight piece in the on on the side and lower down the page. I, I quite like that. I wonder if it was a sketch or something that I followed. A um, little bit of stamping, chipboard title here, and then stamping and this 4 by 6 portrait photo, which I have raised on um, foam or something there. This is documenting our bedroom getting finished. So um, many, many months and a few setbacks to get that done. Uh, I can't quite read that. Yeah, this cre I'll create this layout in 2017, obviously, because it's 2017 album. But... Um, I don't know when the photos were taken. The photos, I think, were taken then, actually, because what happened was we had um, a new shower room created, or the current one made bigger. And that's uh, that was definitely started in 2015. So, um, yeah, it took a long time before we get everything finalised, everything that we needed. And in the meantime, um, our dog, Billy, did pass away. Texture cardstock, pattern paper, vellum. I had a pack of this vellum, these different vellum sheets here. Six by eight sheets of vellum. I definitely had a pack of those. Four by six photo musical pattern paper. Um, just photos of the built-in wardrobe. Oh yeah, we had the built-in wardrobes as well. I wonder when they were. I wonder if we was waiting for them to be finished. I can't actually remember now. Um, and yes, yeah, so I've used my punch again. This lovely little gold foam alpha. I don't think I've used that before, have I? That must have been new. Little bits from that eyelet. I've double tagged here again. I quite like to do that as a design feature. Um, simple grid type layout that one this one i'm pretty sure was a challenge and i'm definitely not keeping this layout so this is just documenting the fact that i like j2o glitter berry um, and it says limited edition there but they bring they keep bringing it back and I, I usually only have it at christmas or my birthday but um and i've said here 
when you find out that your most favourite celebratory drink is available in sweet form. So, oh gosh, this is a packet of sweets. I didn't even realise I'd completely forgotten about that. And I'd said I wasn't going to keep this layout, but I'd completely forgotten about that. I think I thought I was documenting the drink and I wasn't. I was documenting the sweets. So, yeah, maybe I'll keep it. We'll see. <laughs> Colours that I would not normally use, but obviously fits in with the sweeties. And you know what? It does say limited edition and maybe they didn't bring those sweeties back because they, they do keep producing the drink because I'd, yeah, I sometimes forget to have it, but I have got some in the fridge, um, you know, ready for Christmas because I didn't have them at my birthday and I probably forgot to have them at Christmas as well. Anyway, two layered pieces here. And I'm wondering what I've done here. I think I've done a bit of outlining with a similar coloured pen. Wood pieces here. These two pieces, obviously pre-cut pieces with glitter around them. I've done some texture paste here. I'm pretty sure I remember this was some kind of challenge. It may have been to use texture or mixed media or something. Just the 4 by 6 photo grid style again. And um, the journaling sort of matching the uh, photo um, cluster there. And then this one is was another challenge. I can't remember the challenge now. I think I was doing challenges at this time. Can't remember the challenge. Really not keen on this layout. Um, blue texture cards, so pattern paper, a little bit stamping. I made my own um, banners here using felt. This is felt. I'm just checking that that one's stuck down here. And this is just a little wood dog piece that I got from the range, I think it was. And actually, this is felt as well. This this is all felt. And maybe the challenge was she used felt or fabric or something. And it's Elvis just with this ball. And the ball's actually called a chuck it ball. And these little poor layered textured stickers that I've got there that I remember getting a few packets of. Um, and I stamped onto the felt here as well. Yeah, I wasn't going to keep that one out, but I'm not sure now. <laughs> Pattern paper, I think this may be Chamel, textured cardstock. I've actually had to go, I've, maybe it was something to do with cursive writing because I've done the title with, you know, I've written, handwritten the title there. And I, I must admit that's my least favourite part of the layout. I love the grid style, Elvis. Um, Slice and Sand, by the way, is a reference to an Elvis song. Um, and Elvis is on the beach here playing, of course. So it's a grid style, lots of torn papers, which I really like, um, the framed photos. And this just says, Elvis likes to amuse himself at the beach by and hashtag dig. And then I've got these little metal embellishments that look a bit kind of random, don't they? And I'm, I'm thinking, oh, you know what? I think they were earrings. They were, I think they were earrings. I don't think they were em proper embellishments. But it's the way I've put them on there. They don't seem to be like, you know, I've just put two there and one there. So it's not like I've put, spread them out or anything, which is a bit odd. Um, gold splattering. Um, yeah. Like the layout, not keen on this title, but um, yeah, some lovely photos of Elvis and nice memories as well. So this one is me with my funny sunglasses that I like to wear that everyone else is embarrassed about. Texture cut, no, no, not texture cut stuff. Pattern paper of some kind, another pattern paper layered, a little bit tearing again then, stapling and the stamping in the middle. Vellum, vellum, lots of layered pattern paper in the colours, obviously to match the sunnies. Flamingo paper clip there, a little bit of stamping of palm trees here. This lovely floral paper. I'm not over keen on florals, but this is a nice floral with glitter. And then this lovely glittered foam alpha. Palm trees and pink mingos. That's me with my sunnies that I have still got. That doesn't feel as though it needs any repair. I'm hoping we get to the point now where layouts don't need repairing anymore. Where they don't need repairing. Um, texture cards, dot red and red polka dot paper. This scalloped... Um, piece here that I've cut across and stuck to the page that same alpha set from before some wood buttons here and um, actual buttons heart buttons this is a journaling piece that came from a, a travel theme set just saying that I'm saying goodbye to my husband and Elvis because I was going to my friend's party and um, travel theme paper washi tapes here little wood boat just these photos of me saying goodbye to Elvis there so I was going away on my little trip um, this one here is um, Elvis playing with a plant pot. So it's a central design here with um, garden themed pattern paper and a frame of washi tape here, a thin washi tape, which I've used here as well and here. So, um, yeah, I've put these six images onto one photo and I've sort of broken them up with the washi tape chipboard here. And then I've stamped a plant pot onto this pattern paper. So that's a stamp that I've got, a plant pot stamp. I've also... Um, um, punched a heart and add some thread here added some thread here uh, and then I'm just saying about um I went outside with his lead to take him for a walk but he just wanted to play with the plant pots <laughs> I've stamped walkies here on the tile uh, just on this little 
piece of uh, card here on, and I've put washi under that as well. Punch floral, little gems in the middle, or are they? Can't quite see what they are. are they bottoms, bottoms or gems? Um, yeah, that's a nice layout. I really like that layout. I love this design, this sort of central design with the tighter running along the side. I like that one a lot. This is another one of me and Elvis, so I'm going away again somewhere. Um, and this might have been. Was this the same trip with me saying goodbye to Elvis? I've got the same clothes on, haven't I? Yeah, it possibly is. Can't, where's the date? July the 8th. Yeah, same day, so I took some more photos. Um, this, I think, was Chamel pattern paper. Four by four cards, those heart buttons again. Glittered. This is a Christmas alphabet, I'm sure of it. Christmas themed set. So I've used that here, hashtag hug, and it's just me and Elvis with the two sort of um, thin um, photos there, layered up onto pattern papers. Those buttons again, I must have had a pack of those or something. And just the journaling and the. Uh, date in there this one was probably the same trip me coming home almost the end of a long journey looking very tired i don't think i'm gonna keep this layer so yeah um just a bit very tired after didn't sleep very well and i had a long drive so yeah this is when i went to my friend's birthday party so texture cardstock and um, ticket pattern paper torn vellum layered here some Thick pack, um, travel themed pattern paper, some stars punched out. Not sure why, a bit random there. That one's damaged. Bit of ribbon here, ribbon bow, and then um, I've just stamped ooh onto that um, ooh onto that um, banner or flag piece there. And there's a bit of ribbon there. That, oh, and also I've, I've I've punched out these these stars here as well, haven't I? And this is a journaling uh, travel themed journaling piece with a bit of stamping pretty sure there's chanel stamps as well and those flat western themed stickers that i liked a lot at the time i don't think i'm going to keep that layout i don't really like it it's not a great photo and um, the sun is streaming in now so i'm sorry about that um oh gosh i went through a period of time of loving doing these diagonal half and half pages and um, my friend moira is really good at those Um, yeah i feel like i've loved with doing that now but yeah i really enjoyed doing that at the time so I re this photo here me and elvis is one of my all-time favorite photos absolutely love it I think it is a little bit blared, but it kind of adds to the atmosphere. Um, green texture cardstock, wood grain type cardstock, wood title here. This little piece here, I remember having, I don't know where it came from, but I remember wanting to use it on a layout and I've used it here. <laughs> no idea where it came from. Rubber, doggy there. Gems and buttons here. Buttons here, hearts. The small things take up the most room in our hearts. I think that was cut from a pattern paper. This is a little paper clip here and um cork hearts that I've punched out and i've stapled them to the page little banner here that just says Tottenham bay and then um die cut piece this looks like um tissue paper and it's got uh, butterflies on it and this is cork this is cork, a sheet of cork that came like that it was it had adhesive on the back and i've used it many times but i used the whole sheet there rather than punching it out i would have punched these out from another sheet of that love that layout one of my favorites and that photo as i say is one of my favorites this is a little bit of family history here so I'm sure families have all got memories that you know i don't know those memories that are infamous this is me and my little my brother so we're twins we had a mud fight i don't actually know if i have a memory of that or just the photo the memory comes from the photo i think the memory probably does come the, from the photo because we were really young there weren't we and um, chamel pattern paper i'm sure brown textured cardstock lots of wood pieces here you and me family memories this is wood piece too uh, word stickers there those lovely gems again those little alpha post-its that i've liked so much and then just a bit of journaling on the middle bit there and also i have done some um mixed media it looks as if i've sprayed it here and i've splattered it here so yeah i really like that one it's a fun fun page this is my billy and elvis so this was a throwback um i printed this photo a large size and it feels really grainy so i think i've probably sprayed it with a, a sealant that's gone a bit grainy i've got these little um oh no they're stamped i've stamped those snowflakes onto there and added gems in the middle and this is all stamping here they're sitting on the Merry Christmas doormat. This is a stamp that, I've, that looks as I've embossed, actually. And I've added some little what, um, enamel accents to that. And I love that stamp. It's one of my favourites. Little stamp in here. Some gems, chipboard title, heart buttons, and some washi tape to create some journaling lines there. And I've just said that they don't seem too enamoured with their festive um, 
trims so I'm not sure I'm going to keep this one actually it's not a great photo that's just come off in my hand and it feels really horrible grainy so yeah I'm, I don't think I'll keep that and I'm pretty sure that photo would have been documented perhaps in my Christmas album anyway so I'm not too worried about that and um, this is one of my husband and um, he's not keen on having this photo taken so there's very few photos of him in my layouts as you've probably noticed that's those lovely metal wood and um, metal wood metal stars Tim Holtz I was obsessed with obviously I still had a few left here pattern paper here so I don't know where I think yeah this is I've layered this pattern paper onto here so it's a half and half page with washi tape across the line this lovely little layered textured um canvas sticker there tag here that i've stamped on i've definitely stamped that wick crack eyelet some um layering going on here with um, tissue paper i think and also vellum and i've just said we're at the pub um in benbridge this was pre-printed on the page and I'm sure I did that. I'm pretty sure I did this lettering. It's not part of the design of the page because they're two different sheets, aren't they? A little bit stamp in there. This one is me wearing my Elvis t-shirt that I purchased at uh, Humes High School in Memphis. So I'd been, um, I'm not a hoarder, as you probably know, I don't hoard things, but I tend to try and I use things. And even with clothes, I like to wear them. But this t-shirt I'd had for years and hardly ever worn. And in the end, I decided I was just going to keep wearing it until it wore out. And that's what I did. Orange textured cardstock, pattern paper, journaling piece here, washi tape. This isn't actually a magnet that I purchased in America, Graceland probably. I've used a bit of enamel accents on here. I've stamped onto this punched out circle and accented it. Washi tape. Um... Punch stars with outlining and uh, sequins in the middle. This is a, one of those silver pieces, a crown. This is tissue paper. I've layered the photo onto black and white there. And I've done the same here with the enamel accent and created the same um, embellishment cluster top left, bottom right, which I really like to do. A bit of stamping here and I've used some silver um, ink splatters there. So yeah, it's just that this was the high school that Elvis went to and I actually bought this t-shirt from the actual high school back then. This was in 1991. You more than likely wouldn't be able to do that now. So it was actually a school t-shirt that, you know, that the pupils could buy. Um, so yeah, I think I, I don't think I've got it anymore. I think I did in the end decide to wear it and uh, well, I did wear it out. <laughs> um, oh, another one of those diagonal ones that I was enjoying doing. Oh, look here, I've done lots of washi tape on the white section of the pattern paper which is nice, apart from it going yellow here. I've still got this washi tape, and the the washi tape on the roll has not gone yellow, I don't think. But, yeah, on the pages it has. Dotty pattern paper there. This is a pre-cut um, journaling piece. And I just said about we went to, we took our English Heritage frames, membership frames to the oratory here on the island and um, and I think they were at the time they were telling me to take photos and use the ha hashtag or something you know so we did that with Elvis which was fun I got these little frames here and um, a bit of stamping on the frame there some button hearts a little um, I don't know where that came from a little poor metal piece it's probably maybe it came from like a I don't know a key ring or something this feels a bit like chipboard and Framed is the title with that Alpha chipboard set that I've used quite a few times. Now then, this is the same place with Elvis, and this is me with the frame. So, um, pattern, well, a light coloured pattern paper. Yeah, it's obviously a design that I didn't use the other side of. Pattern paper, that's the frame. And I've used my card candy pieces here. I've got these little chipboard frames here. That lovely glitter Alpha there. Wood piece. Wood pieces here with a, a frame and a camera and some words a little bit of ribbon here lace ribbon used here and um, this is all this is all ribbon actually across the page here key um, tissue paper that I've used before layering behind the photo and just saying a nice walk on a windy day and I've just stamped where we were there as well I'm not over keen on this don't really like the ribbon section but nice photo nice memory and then the last one of this album so this is the 20th layout from this album from this particular album is me documenting my blue suede shoes <laughs> so textured cardstock pattern paper map i think chamel again i've been using my circle punch here and that stamp set again don't you step on my blue suede shoes <laughs> I've done two clusters here, similar, with those tiddly wink, tiddly wink pieces again and a punched out heart and some ribbon and washi tape. Four by six piece, three by four piece, tissue paper, torn paper, torn tissue papers here, different colours. And that 
funny thing that I've used before that I don't really know what it is. It obviously came on a roll and a couple of those little post-it things that I had. And then here, this is actually textured. So I've used the wood alphas that I've had already and used quite a few times. And I've had this kind of flock. It's like a flock and obviously glued to it to um, create the suede look of my blue suede shoes. So uh, yeah, and I've also used my glossy accents on here, which is still not feels okay. It's absolutely fine. Um, a little bit of outlining on the heart there. So yeah, I really like this layer. I've still got those shoes, still wear them. And I think I was saying here that it's always a good day when you find a pair of blue suede shoes in the sale for a mere six pounds. A little bit of stamping going on here. So yeah, they were six pounds in the sale. And I still wear them now, like how many years later are we? Six years later. So uh, yeah, goodbye. Um, I normally just wear my, like, my boots or my little pumps that I like to wear but yeah sometimes I wear those when I want to be a bit smarter with my jeans so yeah 20 layouts another album shown to you I'll get these anything needs fixing these didn't look as though there's anything need fixing on here but I will double check that um, I had a quick look at them before I came on and they all seemed quite well stocked so I'm, I think I'm okay with that no re no repairs really need doing with these 20 layouts so um yeah uh, and then we'll be on to the next one we're still in the red polka dot albums and still in 2017 so um, once again thank you for joining me stay safe take care and i shall see you next time